Hey, ya uh, YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of Nine Billion Humans. Wait, seven billion humans? I think seven billion humans. I'm drawing a blink. Um, so in our last episode, we got up to the split and uh, we unlocked where now we can go back and do these two. I'm curious if you guys want me to do that or if we just want to try and progress all the way through, get to the top level, and maybe then if, if we're enjoying it enough, then we can come back down and we can try and attempt some of these other challenges that we don't have met. Now just so you know, if we follow this uh, fork here to the right, this is going to continue the adventure. These are kind of bonus things, so usually they're going to be a bit harder but they're really gonna make you scratch your head. So I think what we're gonna do is we'll first do this guy, then we'll do this guy. We're gonna do it numeric order, I guess. And like I said, we're not gonna necessarily try and get both these things every time. Hopefully we'll at least get one each time, but I guess we'll find out. So we're gonna jump in number 10 here for emergency escapades and see what we have to do. I just received a fax. You're experiencing impressive, stunning fanfare. Ooh, that's nice. Oops, I mean imminent structural failure. Yes, it appears this room is collapsing, and we have to exit immediately. Oh no! Okay, let's keep reading. One of the holes in this room has a nice fluffy exit chute below it. And you will be carried safely in the strong, handsome arms of the rescue squad. I'm gonna put on my glasses real quick. Who wrote this? My question right there. All other holes lead to a painful, splattering doom. To find your way, um, just follow the instructions over there. All right, so. Our instructions here says find your way to the emergency exit, first make your way towards any data cube. Then if the cube says you're said wait, if the cube you're on says one, you step up. If it says two, you step right, if you three, step down, four, step left. So obviously when these guys hit here, when they hit one, they're wanna step up and they'll keep stepping up. When they hit four, they're gonna wanna step to the left. Uh, and then they'll hit three. So the, I'm assuming this is the cushy, nice pillow at the bottom or whatever uh, with the guy with the strong arms to carry off. So let's see. So we do have uh, our step command here. We have if, we have jump. So the first thing they have here is, I think we're going to want to walk first, right? I mean, because no one's there. So if the cube in front of you is not, I think this is just showing you an example. So if the block in front of you is not a data cube, right? Then we walk forward. So this, and with a jump, not under else. This should have them walk. Well, they're going to walk over the edge and everything. We're just making sure this works right. So if the cube. Oh, whoops, I didn't do the not. Is not a data cube. I said it, I just didn't do it. So there you go. This guy will make it the first. Oh, now they're. Not, oh, they're not going to walk. These guys are going to keep trying to walk just because there's. They can't take that spot. So that looks like that looks like a good first step. So then what we want to do is do our different ifs here. And we're not going to do them in if else because that means if this one is true or if this one's false, then it'll automatically do the next one. We want it to check everyone every time because this guy might be on one, uh, some other guy might be on three or four or something like that. So we want that kind of to uh, go one by one without being the else condition all right so now we can look up here and see what our things were and we're gonna start at the bottom because as we do this um, this is gonna have to go up so if we start at the bottom we'll be able to see this so if 
the block in front of them equals uh, number four, right? Or no, let's say if the block they're on is number four, because if the if it were number one, then they would try and go up here. We want them to be on the block. So let's do that, and we want to say, oh, ho, 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 look at all that. Step up, <laughs> there we go. And four was step to the left, right? Then we want to say three here, which is going to be step down. So if the block you're on equals the number three, and like I, I said before, we have to turn down the music post. No, actually, I turned off the music, didn't I? I think I did. I'll probably turn down the sound anyway, but just so we can uh, hear. Okay, so now we have if it is three, then we want to step down. So step and right. Then we have if. Now, so we say if the block you're on is equal to two, then we set right. And finally, if the block you're on is oops, I'm on step already. If the block you're on is equal to one, then we want to step up. Up. Now that should work. Isn't that wind? Whew. And then at the end we just jump. So we just keep doing that until everyone gets there. So let's see what we get. Let's go ahead and speed it up. Okay, so they're not actually stepping on the key. Let's go ahead, maybe stick a condition on this one. So if it is not a data cube, then we step that way. Else, maybe we want to step that way again. So if they, if it is a data cube, then they'll step on it. Hmm. We actually might want to have all these guys be a condition. They're always going to walk forward. Unless there's not a data cube. Then we want to do special. Let's try that to see how that works. Okay, so no, that's still not working. Alright, so let's think about this. So if they're walking forward. And there's a data cube in front. Um, so when there is a data cube, hmm. and we know the first one would always be a forward. We try and have them. Yeah, let's just for giggles here. We'll have them walk twice. Because the worst that will do is they'll end up on the data cube, right? Nope, that did not. <laughs> Alright, so what we need to do is say if they get on the data cube. So if the one you're on is a data cube. It's not a DVD. Then walk forward one. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we have to check the one they're on. I think that might fix that. Now the reason it's kind of lagging here is because we have all these other guys under that other condition. We want to move them back out now. So if we grab you. We don't want it to be an else condition. We just want to always check everything. This will keep them all moving at all times. I believe. Take longer, but <laughs> so 
now you see that guy moves up. They're going in. They all move up. I like how these guys are just running. So, so far, so good. Let's go ahead and speed it up. And that should even work when they hit this one. They should walk into the hole. Okay, so if we at least get one of those uh, challenges, I think we'll continue. Okay, now it's my turn. I don't know how to program, I'm just a manager. Rescue squad! Oh my heck, look at this. Complete in 25 or fewer seconds, it took us 244. We can get either of these. So, can we... I don't know. Do we want to... And I guess we could get rid of this step. Because then they're just always going to step forward. I'm not going to worry about it. We, we accomplished the task. We didn't get either of them. But this is where we would come back and... Try later on. What was I doing? Uh, I want to go back to the elevator. I hit. Oh, they're down. Oh, undo. All right. So let's go ahead. We're gonna go back to the elevator and do injection sites. Okay. Important data cubes from management. Put them down there on the floor in those horizontal lines. Most of them. Most of them, anyway. I kind of zoned out. Um, do you guys fill in the missing data in each line? Just put those data cubes wherever they fit. Order doesn't matter. Okay, so let's see. I think there should be one empty slot below each of you. But as long as those horizontal lines appear complete, I'm sure no one will complain. Okay, so what we need to do is we're going to have them marching forward. And when they get to a spot that is empty here, then we want them to drop their cube. And then I don't know if they have to keep moving. It doesn't really say, does it? Click that little button on the right side of if. If you want to test multiple things or directions at once. All right, so... Let's see what we got to do. So we've got to have them march forward because every one of them needs to go forward, right? And every one of them can pick up their cube. There's no reason to do that twice. And that should have them. Actually, we could just do this. Let's tell them to pick up the cube in front of them, right? Does that work? Yes, it is sure. Yes. Yeah, um, all right. Then we know we have some constants. So here they're going to pick it up. We have them walk forward one, walk forward two, walk forward three. No reason to stick this in a loop necessarily. Because this will actually speed it up because we don't have to do a jump step every time. So that's that. Now what we want to do... <clears throat> actually I think we could even have them go one more, couldn't we? Yes. We have them go one more. And then we want to start doing our checks. So this will have them all in line here. So I'm thinking what we want to do is anytime we detect a cube, yeah, we do a cube on their left, they can put down there, if this spot is empty and this spot has a cube, then they can drop their cube. Because that means when she's here, this is an empty, and there's not a cube there. So she'll be able to do that. So we know we're going to have a jump, and we need to stick an if. So we're going to say if the spot that they're standing on equals uh, nothing, right? Then this is the three little dots it's talking about. And 
if the spot next to them equals a data cube. Then we'll go ahead and have them drop their cube. So drop your cube. Then we do want an else here. We're going to have them step forward. I think. That should do it. Let's try that. So they're going to pick it up and walk up there. Now they're going to check. Put it down. Put them down. They put them down. Perfect. Look at that. Now we, did it. now we did it in twice as many commands as we needed. And our time is a little off. We could talk. We should that down one second. Maybe if we went like this and got rid of the L. Um, are they always gonna? Yeah, they're always gonna walk forward. We could do that, maybe. Let's just try that and see if we shaved off that second. Oh, we're still at eight seconds. But we cut that down one. All right, we're not, like I said, we're not gonna worry about that. We don't wanna take forever. We will revisit these at the end if we want. All right, so let's see if we got time for another one. 16, I think so. Sorry about my voice, by the way. It's kind of cracky. So we're going to unzip. Unzip. Year 12. So let's unzip this line. Line of data. Move the leftmost data cube up. Then move the next cube in the line down. Next one up. Next one down. You know, like unzipping a zipper. Here, I've already started this solution for you. You're welcome. So I have some comments. So we're picking up. We're saying if there's a wall. So this is the first guy right here. If there's a wall next to him, he steps up. Right? Then I imagine what we'll do. Let's just run this real quick. So everyone picks up. Now he checks. There's only a wall to his uh, left. So he steps up and puts down. So then. How do we separate? Oh, okay, I think I know. So what we could do in the else, this is everybody else. So what we would do with her, instead of check for a wall, this is where the loop goes, is she'll check if there's a cube up there or down there. So when she goes, he'll be down there. I think that'll work. Let's try that out. So now what we do is... Willow. I say Willow. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's our else. This is everybody else thing. And this is, I think, where our jump will be because it'll actually have everyone else. So let's see. So we're going to say if there is a data cube right here, then this person steps down, right? So step down and drop the cube. Because everyone else is checking there. There shouldn't be any. Yeah, this should work, I think. And then we'll have the else condition. Or do we need to actually check? I don't know. Let's, let's just try it to see if it works. Step up and drop. I think we have to have another. We have to have another condition to step up, because what we're going to do is this person will detect a cube there. Everyone else won't, so they're on watch. So Willow, they're going to go ahead and he moves up, right? And now it is everyone else moved up because there was no steps there, and they all moved. So we want to make sure, 
Yeah, see everyone moved up. That did not work like we wanted. We want this to be another condition. So let's go ahead and put this here and then say if there's a cube below, then they step up. And drop. If there's not either of those, they shouldn't do anything. So let's try that out. It goes up. And oh we don't have our loop. <laughs> we gotta get our loop in there. Cause he did that and then it just ended. Uh, so we need to stop. We need to stick our loop right here. We don't need a loop outside of the comment. Okay, let's try that. He goes up, she goes down. He goes up, she goes down. He goes up, he goes down. Looks like it's working. She goes up, he goes down. She goes up, she goes down. She goes up, she goes down. I think we did it. We did it way more commands than they expect and way more time. We're not doing very good on the challenges at all, are we? All right, well, that's not too bad. All right, so now let's try Injection Sites 2. Now, these ones are the ones that are supposed to be hard. Hmm. I'm uh, sorry, I was just thinking of what they might want us to do here. Uh, okay, let's not panic. It happened again. Benjamin sent some very important data cubes, and I put most of them down there on the floor. But I think I missed a few spots. I mean, you're not the most attentive listener either. Nodding along, hoping I'll stop. Uh, nodding along, hoping I'll stop soon. I don't know. This is our life together now. So just grab those data cubes over there and fill in those horizontal lines, however you like. I didn't organize them for you this time, but I'm sure you can figure out how to identify where they go. Hmm, so... And if we did our standard thing, we could fill in that one, that one, and that one, but we'd be missing these three over here. So what we need to do is think... I'm thinking what we need to do is have the person, have them pick up and when they start hitting data cubes here, that they move to the right. Hmm. So I wonder, I mean, we could do it where we have them come down and they fill in the data cube and when someone hits the wall, they move down to the next set of data cubes and then move this way and then move down and then this way and this way. And the, the problem we might run into is The person like if this guy stops here and puts down his data cube if he doesn't move anymore then he's gonna stop everyone else from being able to go film the gaps in each row so is there another type of pattern Six. Hmm. Do, 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 do. All right. Well, so how will they know? I guess if there's the wall there. could have them go straight down, fill in all the things. If they hit the wall here, they move till they hit this wall. The question is, would she have 
have two data cubes. <laughs> <laughs> This one's kind of tricky. We might have to think about this one. Alright. Uh, I don't know. Let's go look at the other one real quick. So we might have to come back to that one. Let's try this one. Intro to shredding. Let me introduce you to some very... Something very dear to my heart. Shredders! They shred anything dropped inside. Anything! Please shred. <laughs> yes, I apologize for my behavior. Shredding just gets me unseasonably excited. Yes! Are we ready to concentrate? Everyone, please shred your data cube. What? Not everyone got a data cube? Well, life's never fair, is it? Alright, so... Oh, give to. Shred all data cube. New give to. Give to, give to makes a worker give the item in their hands to something else, like a shredder or another worker. Oh, so we're giving to the shredder. So I would say we just want to maybe walk forward one. And that will put us on the data cube. We want to pick up. Now the question is, is will she say she can't pick up? And then can we also say if, can you say like if I'm carrying a data cube, if a data cube, maybe, I think they can walk one more forward before they hit the shredder, it looks like the shredder is in this row, so if they have a data cube, maybe, Step forward and give to the shredder. So I don't I don't know if this will work because this is technically saying if they have a data cube. I could also maybe move that down there. But I'm curious if this will count if they're holding the data cube. So give to shredder. Let's just try that real quick. Oh, we need, I don't even think we need loop, do we? So we're stepping forward. We're standing on the data cube. If there's a data cube, then we'll go ahead and... Let's try it. Yeah, they quite work, did it. So technically, I guess, when they're holding the data cube, it doesn't count. So if there is a data cube, then we'll have to pick up for it, and that should work. Get a data cube on the board. I think we did good. I think we did it. Did everyone survive our first day with shredders? Yes, surviving is technically not a strict requirement. As long as the work gets done. Okay. Do that in four. I guess now you pretty much have to step forward, right? We did really good on this one though. It took us two seconds where the average is three, so proud of that. Okay, I think we're out of time, so I think we're gonna call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and like I said, thank you for your patience uh, with me having my computer be on the fritz right now just to give you a quick update on it um, I did get a chance to uh, look at the hard drive I think it's more than just the hard drive I think the RAID controller got out of whack or something so I have to replace that as well because I put in a new hard drive and it doesn't recognize any of um, the party probably some of you don't even know what a RAID is but it kind of changed the hard drives together and it doesn't know about that anymore so I have to figure out how to get all my old data off the drives um, so that I can continue recording before I reinstall Windows and stuff like that so um, like I said thank you for being patient with me and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode I know it's probably not the best but it did get a lot of views last time and hopefully it'll keep you on doing that 
if you guys have any recommendations or suggestions anything uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below um, if you haven't comment like subscribe follow me on Twitter check out my discord and my other channels um, and then uh, also, don't forget about the great big game giveaway. When we hit 1,000 subs, we now have 57 Steam games uh, that I'm going to be giving away. So, one out of every 20 subs will get a game. So, I think my th my voice is just about shot, so I'm going to call it. Uh, that's it. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!